Hello, everybody. This is Kimchi Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the five major crypto sectors on radar right now. Let's dive in. Currently speaking, when Bitcoin price is around hovering around 60K, nobody wants to buy Bitcoin now. But a year later, it could be six months, eight months. I don't know the exact timing yet. But when Bitcoin price reaches, 100k i definitely i do believe that a lot of people around the whole globe they must be rushing to buy bitcoins this type of thing has been repeated over and over again but my question here is isn't it worth checking out which crypto sectors could rise this cycle especially when those are very undervalued like these days first layer one layer one blockchains are the basic platforms for every single application in crypto in blockchain it can be used for stable coins it can be used for rwa DeFi, and so forth such as ethereum solana avalanche cardano near protocol Algorand, ton uh, telegram ton and tron things like that. Second, I think RWA as well as DeFi. It can it, it both of them are closely related to each other. Without DeFi, RWA tokenization cannot exist. Now blue coins in this sector could be on the finance and AVE. AVE is one of those DeFi protocols. Third, gaming sector. When you think about gaming, nobody uh, is is very much interested in gaming these days. But when you think about you know of the um, gaming de developers are using the Avalanche as their layer one platform, as well as Immutable X, it's the the most used and popular blockchains out there is Immutable X. Uh, amongst the layer two Ethereum blockchains. And Beam could be an alternative choice when you think Avalanche or IMX is highly overvalued. Fourth sector is Dippin, decentralized physical infrastructure network. And this Dippin is closely related to AI because in order to implement those AI, you know, 3D modeling stuff, you need um, the computing power, as well as storage, IoT, and data indexing protocols such as Graph. So it's like um, like an RW and DeFi. Uh, it needs each other. The Dippin project, we can call it as storage, you know, Ficoin, Internet Computer, Arrive. These are the essential projects in this sector. And a render protocol and a cache network. These are this can be categorized as Deepen and AI at the same time. And Graph at, as well. Graph is the data indexing. What you need is data categorization. Just like you Googling on and surf, you, you, you search something on, in the Google website, you can do the same thing in blockchain with Graph. So it's essential project, I think. IOTA, things like that. And in AI projects, BitTensorTau, Render Protocol, Akash Network, Graph, and Near Protocol. I think these are the major blue chip altcoins in these five sectors. Last but not least, when you think of the USDC stablecoin, this was issued by Circle. And Circle is, was funded by BlackRock Fidelity, the Wall Street Giants which means BlackRock, BlackRock is expanding their territory, not only in the United States, but over the whole world. They already printed, issued USDC and Eurocoin in the European countries, EURC. Through using 15 plus blockchains already on Algorand, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Base, Cello, Ethereum, Hedera, Near, Cosmos, Optimism, Polkadot, Polygon, Solana, Stellar, and ZK Sync. And XRP will be added later. When I just categorize these old things 
into layer one and layer two, layer zero. Layer one goes like Algorand, Avalanche, ETH, Dera, Near Protocol, and Solana. What about layer twos? Arbitrum and Chalo. Chalo was initially layer one, but it's now layer two now. The base is from Coinbase layer two, Optimism, Polygon, and ZK Sync. And layer zero is the um the bridge between layer ones, layer twos, and other platforms. It's about uh, interoperability, blockchain of blockchains, such as it includes Cosmos, Polkadot, and Chainlink. I think these can be used in not only this cycle, but for the next you know, 5, 10, 20 years or more in RWA or in DeFi, in whatsoever applications, these layers could be used by multiple you know, corporations, individuals, and so forth. What do you think? Thank you for listening.